The Yogbox has updated to version 1D, like dog, and therefore I need to reinstall my Yogbox and my mods. I'm going to show you how to do this quickly. First of all, go to your Minecraft file. You either go to the search program or to the run menu and enter percentage, app data, percentage. Enter. There's your Minecraft file. Create a shortcut to it, which you put on your desktop so that you will be able to go back there quickly because you'll need to go there a lot. I need to take out the things I want to save, my two texture packs, and my worlds. Then I need to delete Minecraft completely. I go to Minecraft. I download the whole package again. And we're up and running. If you go into the Yog box, here it is inside the WinRAR program. And I click on Installer Jar, I will get this installer error. You need to extract the Yog box. before you can install it. So here's my Yogbox folder. I open the folder. Now I see the Yogbox installer. I click on the installer. <coughs> and I choose what I want to install. These are my personal choices. The Yogbox opens the closed Minecraft jar inserts the mods you've selected and then closes the Minecraft jar again. I have to test in between every mod install just to make sure everything's working perfectly. You can see that now the Minecraft screen is brighter and shows the Yog box here which means that it is working. Now I'm going to put my worlds back in and my texture packs. Now we have to open the Minecraft jar. We go to the bin file. This is the Minecraft jar. To open it, we extract the files. This is the Minecraft jar file that is closed, and this is the Minecraft folder. We take the Minecraft closed jar and put it in the recycle bin. We rename the Minecraft folder Minecraft.jar. Your Minecraft jar is now open. You check inside, there is no meta INF file because the Yogbox has deleted it. If you were installing a mod manually, you'd have to make sure meta INF is gone. Too many items is an inventory editor. This is life without an inventory editor. I press E to look at my inventory, what I have, and this is all things I've collected. There is nothing else. Too many items, the files are all class files. Class files go in the open jar. And you can see that too many items is working because there's a line up here saying it's installed. And also you've got tons and tons of stuff. Optifine provides HD texture support. It's also all class files, so it's a simple install. Copy the class files and paste them into your Minecraft jar. You can tell if you have Optifine because if you go to your options, video settings, it will give you information about your different choices. I like to choose things that are faster. Because I have lag problems. Now let's do single player commands. Single player commands has class files in it, an executable jar file in it, and a text file in it.
Delete the text file. Copy the jar file. The jar file gets installed in the bin, in the Minecraft bin, which is where all the jar files go. So WorldEdit is a jar file, it goes in the bin with the other jars. Now, delete your WorldEdit jar. All the rest of the files now are class files, and it's a simple copy and paste. You can tell you've got single player commands because you have the line across the screen that says single player commands. Alright, now I'm going to install Spawner GUI. Spawner GUI has five class files and a GUI file. I'll do the class files first. It's a copy. Paste the class files into the jar. You'll notice in the Minecraft jar you have a GUI file. GUIs are the interfaces between your furnace, your crafting, your chests, into your inventory. This GUI is the spawner interface. Copy it. Go to your GUI file in the Minecraft jar and paste. Now you have a spawner in here too. So there's a spawner. I don't think you can craft a spawner. You have to get it from an inventory editor. It's item 52 here. Or from single player commands. What happened? Where did you come from? Oh god, I gotta change to an axe at least. My god, kill death, death, death. What? Oh, finally. I got nothing. What? Oh god, I gotta eat something. Where did he come from? What do you want to bet I spawned a spider? I, I, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> but everything's working. <laughs> okay, here's your spawner GUI that we just installed. And you can choose any creature you want. I do not know where that spider came from. Uh, you know what? Let me put up a torch, just in case. <laughs> Holy... And we're all done.